Hello, you beautiful gods and goddesses. This is Tawanda Van Celestial Earth Goddess, and today we're going to give an oracle message about becoming the warrior. And we're going to use the Ancestors and Angels deck. I just got this deck about two weeks ago. I've just been loving this deck. Anyway, let's get into it. So, the focal point of this reading is about becoming the warrior. And as you can see, it says, be fearless and stand strong. Now we're going to start from the eagle and then work our way to the mountain and then taper it off with the traveler's message. Okay, now, in order to be this warrior, to be fearless and stand strong, we know that a warrior has to have brains and brawn. In other words, they have to know when to move and when to sit still. Now, the eagle tells us, shows us how to see things from a higher perspective. Literally meaning taking the high road. Now, taking the high road doesn't mean letting shit happen or dismissing somebody's bullshit. That's not what taking the high road is. Excuse me if I'm moving this thing a little too much. Taking the high road simply means not reacting to any and everything that comes your way. Literally seeing it from a higher perspective and realizing that some people just be on that bullshit and it's not worth your time and energy to even address it. Okay, now once you've developed that higher perspective, you're able to be the wise one which is growing within your current situation. In other words, you're able to adapt. Now, we all know what the wise woman represents. She's the woman that's been there, done that, and got the t-shirt to tell the story. And she's able to help us to keep from going through the pitfalls that she may have had to go through because she is the wise one. She is the elder. And every generation is supposed to have it easier than the previous, not harder. Now, some of y'all knuckleheads going to do what the fuck you want to do anyway and have to learn it the hard way. I don't know. Some of y'all just like misery in your life. But who am I to judge? But the whole point is, be like the wise one, which is also known as the crone. She has been through many different transformations because she's been here a long time. And it would behoove you to take the advice of the wise ones in your life. Or even um, the higher, people of the higher realm, or your ancestors who have crossed over. Because you can receive downloads from the universe and your spiritual crew, as I love to call them, to prevent you from having to go through those hard knock lessons. Now, because you are at your highest state, which is wisdom, you can be the or No, you're not going to be the oracle. You're more or less going to, um, how can I put this? I had this in my head and now it's not there. Um, the oracle represents the downloads. That's, that's a good way to put it. So because you are at this level of wisdom, you are able to receive the information from, from the cosmos, from the higher realms, from your higher self. Because you are tapped within, you are tapped into your divinity. Being tapped into your divinity allows you to be tapped into the divinity of the universe. That would be whatever ancestors and guides you have, as well as the cosmic universe itself. So, you're able to receive those downloads through your crown chakra, and it works your way through those energy points, or chakras as some people like to call them, and allows you to know what to do and what not to do. And because you are at that place of receiving that information, you can be like the stag where you are trusting and thriving because a lot of the reasons why y'all are not getting any further in life is because you're not trusting yourself. You're not trusting your intuition. Therefore, you can't trust the, the information of the universe. And you can't be wise without being open to receiving what you need to know. Now, because you're, once you begin like the stag and you're able to trust and thrive now you come to the high priestess and the high priestess as it says harness mystic power the high priestess 
is open. The high priestess intuition is open to receive all that the infra, that the um, universe has to offer. So she's able to obtain that esoteric knowledge and keep it to herself and use it in a way to benefit her or benefit the higher, the, um, the good of all. Cause that's what the high priestess is about. She ain't just about herself. She's also there to help others be empowered. And the high priestess does not go after what she wants. She is seductive, which means she is able to get what she wants to come to her. When I say seductive, I'm talking about more than just, for instance, able to get a man or get a woman. I'm talking about pure, unadulterated, divine, feminine, receptive energy, which is what we all have. I don't give a damn if you're a woman or a man. Because men, you need to learn how to tap into your feminine energy and use it to your benefit. Women, you need to learn how to tap into your masculine energy and use it to your benefit. Don't be scared. Once you understand energy, you won't be, you won't be hung up by what society deems as what makes a man a man or what makes a woman a woman. Because a lot of times society don't know what the fuck they're talking about or more or less. They know what they're talking about. They just want you, they just tell you some stupid shit so you be in the dark. So stop listening to everybody. Now, harnessing this power also allows you to be like the mountain. Because you are in this receptive energy, you don't have to make unnecessary moves. You can stand your ground. You can be where you at. Because as they said, the mountain didn't go to Muhammad. Muhammad had to go to the mountain. So that's where y'all need to be at right now. Standing your ground. And standing your ground is what completes your ability to be a warrior. Because like I said, being a warrior is not about just fighting and striking. It's about knowing, it's about standing still and tapping into your intuition. And then using that logic to make the moves that your intuition guided you to make. So you can't so you can be like the traveler and move in a new direction because that's what warriors do. You know, they move. At some point they will move, but they'll know when to move and where to move. So that's how you be the ultimate warrior. It ain't just about fighting and killing. And I'm speaking not necessarily speaking literally, but more so metaphorically or figuratively. But it's not about striking everything. It's not about expelling all that energy to just be actionary. You have to know how to move. You know, because some of y'all just be wasting time and energy and ain't got no damn where. Ain't got no further than you was before you started. So in order to excel in life, we have to learn how to be still and truly listen from within so we can make the right moves. So we don't have to go through them pitfalls. So. I hope you received this message very well. And until next time you beautiful gods and goddesses. I bid you adieu.